ahead here. We are the brothers, or the abbot's men. I would say well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Cunebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tetman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Cunebert, your guests have arrived. Come. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit. Ava, eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders, wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real and their power is within our grasp. <laughs> you will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnebert. Is it cloves I taste? Well, that concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Fulke let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did, and with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be, but it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come, let us dive into the maw of death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. 
This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. This land of summer, mists, and forests, dreaming darkly. I see secrets, and I want to know England. <laughs> this land of summer, mists, and forests, dreaming darkly. I see secrets, and I want to know England, all of it. And yet it rounds on us at every turn, snarling like a cornered dog. I begin to despair of ever settling here. Perhaps the stars write your path, and you will never have a home here. Do you miss the land of your birth? I have long... beautiful beneath the vanity, arrogance, and pettiness of men. I should like to see it. You could if you wish. My father was an architect, a builder of wonders. The great mosque of Samara, his masterpiece. Another man who played the caliphate's game better took the credit. <laughs> Game better took the credit. He was exiled and died in poverty. Your faith sours. What of loyalty? Shared stories round the hearth. Warm nights, bodies, and the tender love of another. There are some who are worthy. A scant few that tower above the solid mass. Men and women. Sigurd is one such man. He is. Fuke is strong on that score. I fear for him, Basim. I cannot rest until he's safe. Nor will I, my friend. The practice of learning has waned considerably in England since the days of the Romans. What books they still have, they keep locked away in their churches, hidden from the eyes of common folk. Thralls and Gerald cannot read. What would be the point? They could learn. The church could teach them. So much of human history. And you will never have a home here. Do you miss the land of your birth? I have long been away. But it is fiercely beautiful beneath the vanity, arrogance, and pettiness of men. I should like to see it. You could if you wish. My father was an architect, a builder of wonders. The great mosque of Samara, his masterpiece. Another man who played the caliphate's game better took the credit. He was exiled and died in poverty. Your faith sours. What of loyalty? Shared stories round the hearth. Bodies and the tender love of another. There are some who are worthy. A scant few that tower above the solid mass. Men and women of vision and valor. Sigurd is one such man. He is. Fulke isn't wrong on that score. I fear for him, Basim. I cannot rest until he's safe. Nor will I, my friend. The practice of learning has waned considerably in England since the days of the Romans. What books they still have, they keep locked away in their churches, hidden from the eyes of common folk. Vengeance is ours! Ah. 
thralls and churls cannot read, what would be the point? They could learn. The church could teach them. So much of human history would be open to them. Aristotle, Pythagoras, Euclid, ancient knowledge lost to all... Ah! <laughs> 
Aristotle, Pythagoras, Euclid, ancient knowledge lost to all but a few hard-headed men of the cloth. You have studied these workshops. Studied these works yourself? In my youth. is heavily guarded. Be gentle if they spot me. Oh, you missed corpse! Finish ya! Sigurd would be well guarded. 
caution and subtlety should be our path. Ready? Follow me. Sunin, guide me. This is a trap. Why would Fulke give us her sanctum? She baits us. Cocksure and arrogant. But she cannot see failure in her path. Her fearful wit would say otherwise. Whatever we find there, keep your head. To chastise me like a child, Basim. I guard you like a father. Nothing is served with your brutal end. You have much to do in this life. I know it. More riddle. More riddles, sly tongue. No riddles. I sense a greatness within you both. Your destiny is not to stain the stones of this godhouse with your blood. Aid me. Be my eyes. I should not be seen in this area. So we are to blunder in like an ox? Have a look, Sunin. If she's still here, I will burn this Christ house to the ground.
This must be the way to Fulke's Sanctum. Then let us go. This is the place. It's riddled with the stench of her. Help me, Basil. Sigurd is within. word tangles that speak of elves and demons. By Odin, this is a sick tapestry she wove. For every drop of his blood she spilled, I will take a meat horn more. The gospel Mary Magdalene. Hmm. The plans to the great fortress in Wessex. Is there something here we can use to breach it?
Tell me that you found something. Anything we can use! I may have. A fortress in Sussex. The order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Anything else? Documents of interest to the Hidden Ones. Hytham will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. <sighs> if he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Basim. She severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tetman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. Where is he? Where is Sigurd? He... he is alive. But not with you. Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Ranvi. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor! We deserve the truth! I need to speak with Ranvi. Step aside, now! You never found him, because you didn't look! <clears throat> I see you, Eivor! I know what you are. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Fulke, she... She slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances. Remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? 
She tortured him, Radri. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods. You are a good boy. Wolf kissed. This ends now. Dak, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment. Because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dak, but that offer is gone. I have no need of it. My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home. Walk away, Dak. No! We fight to the death. You spew nonsense, Dak. This is absurd. Enough! Let the circle be made! I'll make a goblet of your skull! Please! Please, it's both of you! I do not want to do this! Walk away! Walk a fool's path, Dag. This does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will be quick. What's the matter, Eivor? Are you scared? Only for what I must do. Do you not see what you do? There's no honor in this. I would grant you exile. Leave this place, but go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice.
any pity, I would not lavish it on this poor fool. He forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded, you gave him. That should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. You should not have come to this, old friend. But you gave no quarter in life, and you will receive none in death. Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this, this is the answer I gave him. Now you will hear the truth unmanaged. None, none more than me wishes for Seagirt's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you. And I will burn the fields and dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That, that is my oath. That is my oath. I will find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl, as I promise. You died, proud and defiant. I cannot begrudge you for that. Wherever you now roam, I wish you well. I'm sorry that such a fire grew between us. <laughs>